Now in this same pack we have the anti-rotation uh, plates. They have two frame spacers. One of the frame spacers this frame spacer has a little radius in one of the slots, so it, it only goes on one way. If you try to put it on the other way, it won't set all the way down there. So find that little radius. And this one only goes on with one screw in the center. You can tighten this hardware up. And then the other frame spacer goes on the other side. The screw goes the other way. And this gets, this one gets two screws to hold it on. All these two millimeter screws are the same length in this pack. Slug those up. Uh, and these two holes at this far end, they're 2.5 millimeter. So when you assemble this to the side frame, Make sure uh, you use a 2.5 in there. So this goes on like this with uh, these screws pointing up and that one single screw pointing down. Need some more Loctite. So just use a regular uh, one of this frame screws on the, the top or the front. Uh, and then use uh, one of these 2.5 millimeter screws to hold this one on. I need to get my bigger wrench to put that one in. So the next thing you want to put on is the bottom plates. We had those extra two holes in the bottom. Uh, they go towards the bottom and the, the big slot, the big holes go up towards the top or the front. Now you use the pack of hardware with the screws. The screws are a little bit longer with uh, fiber lock nuts. And put beauty washers on these. It's a little bit of a challenge to get those nuts in there. No Loctite on the fiber lock nuts. I usually try to just get it started without it in the slot and then as you tighten it up it kind of works itself into that slot 
seems to work pretty well. So I just set it on top of the slot, get it started. As it tightens up, it works itself into the slot. If not, you can use a pair of pliers to better center it in that slot if it doesn't. Center up. Okay, so that's those bottom plates. get started just laying over on top of the slot and then just works in. So that's the bottom plates. And now we're ready to install the uh, inboard side frame. So making sure you don't haven't swapped things out and gotten things uh, mixed up, you just go ahead install all the fasteners same fasteners you did on the outboard the cell side frame as you do on the inboard and cell side frame now except for four you leave off and that's these four here where the spindle goes so don't put those four in And don't tighten everything up until you get the well you leave you leave this two point five millimeter one out for now also. Gonna open up this other fastener pack that came with the motor mount stuff. Remember these uh Aft one here doesn't get a beauty washer if you're doing the scale upgrade. Keep it loose. Uh, so at this stage of the game, you can install your uh, now this is the the left side frame, so you can install your your main shaft. And the reason you do that is to to get all these bearings in line. And if it's if it's right that you want it to free wheel this way on the left side, so the blades approach the wing. And once you get that main shaft in there, you can go through here and tighten up all these screws. And that shaft will be free to slide. That means those uh, bearing blocks are in, in line. Do the other side. So I got all the inboard screws in here. I got the main shaft slid in there. And I'm going to tighten up the two millimeter screws. Now that gets all those, and that, that main shaft should slide in there. If it doesn't loosen everything up and tighten it up again, that means those bearings are.